Welcome everyone to Always Wondering Art. It's Karel. Got a great one for you today. We're going to do a silhouette style painting and we're going to be using this book called The Big Book of Painting Nature and Watercolor by Ferdinand Petrie, a great landscape artist both in watercolor and in pencil. The reason why I want to do a video on this topic is it looks so awesome and it's relatively easy to do. So let's jump into it. All right, so we're gonna start out by sketching out the landscape. What makes this composition more interesting is that the land is sloping downward, so it's more appealing to the eye, as opposed to just having a straight line. And we're also making posts for the barbed wire fence that'll be silhouetted against the bright sky. And lastly, just making marks indicating where the grasses will go when we start to paint. Okay, we're gonna paint the sky wet on wet, so I'm wetting the paper. And I'm gonna use a one and a half inch flat brush to cover as much area as possible. And the colors I'll be using are shown right here. And these colors are a little bit different than what Ferdinand Petrie uses in his uh, book. But, you know, you don't really don't need to have specific colors to produce the same outcome. These colors will roughly give us the pretty much the same effect as what's in the book. So the lightest part of the painting will be the yellow orangey sky and I'm going in with a little bit of violet and burnt umber to create the darker clouds in the sky to give it more interest. This really is the hardest part of the painting. Everything else is relatively easy so if you nail this part, pretty much nail the, uh, the entire painting. Just a side note, Petrie uses cadmium orange, mauve, and alizarin crimson for the sky in his book. Okay, the toughest part about painting the foreground is getting it dark enough. As you'll see, I'm gonna go back in several times until I finally have the foreground dark enough to create that silhouette effect. You can paint this wet on wet or wet on dry, it doesn't really matter, as long as you can get it dark enough. I find that wet on dry um, gives you a darker effect right away. The key with the fence posts is not to make them all straight and the same size. You want to vary the fence post. Notice how some are leaning and some are taller than the others. This will create greater interest. Okay, now painting in the barbed wire fence. paint the barbed wire fence, I'm using a rigger brush. Now going in and creating little indications of the barbed wire. This might take some time, so don't worry, I won't make you watch the whole thing. We'll just skip to the end. I warned you. Going back in until I get it dark enough. Notice how the darker color or value really starts to make the sky even brighter to create that silhouette effect. As my mentor used to say, you can't have a light without having a dark. And I'm just going in and creating little indications of grasses and twigs and things like that sticking up using a rigger brush. Quick tip here, you really don't want to have any water on the brush, otherwise the stems will look too thick. This is best done with just having some paint on the brush. Well, I think we're pretty much there. I'm just going back in again with some violet and some cadmium orange just to create a little bit more variation in the sky.
This step really is optional. In fact, you're probably better off just leaving the sky the way you painted it in the first place. Well, I hope you had fun. Hope you got something out of it. We'll see you in the next video.